Well, we have identified um, genetic lesions in, in a number of pathways um, that, that fuel the, the PMBCL pathogenesis. And these pathways are, are also in our expression, um, in RNA expression profiles are also upregulated, which is um, NF-kappa B pathway, the JAK-STAT interferon pathway. And we have also identified, and this was also known before, that PMBCL uses a lot of genetic lesions that help them to escape um, the immune system. And this is also a starting point for future therapies, and these are already starting right now in, in PMBCL. Um, so the, there's a, a big genetic landscape with a lot of driving mutations um, from different pathways um, that, that fuel the, the lymphomogenesis in this disease. And we uh, discovered um, by, by correlating um, some or, or many of these mutations and uh, genetic lesions, we, we started to kind of um, uncover which one might have a prognostic impact in, in, in PMBCL. And um, I think the, especially with the advent of immunotherapies, um, I'm not sure if one should use these markers we have identified in, in multivariable analysis. Um, I'm not sure if one should use them for risk stratification right now because uh, it, it was a retrospective trial and not a randomized control trial. Um, but they certainly can inform um, about biologically active um, pathways that might, might help to, to develop future therapies. I think it will be vital for future studies to, to um, take these, these results that we have generated and to um, try to um, validate them in, in prospective and randomized clinical trials if they ever exist in PMBCL because of the very rare lymphoma. Um, but also, um, I think um, um, it, will, it will be vital to also um, consecutively um, sequence patients that are, that are relapsing, that are refractory, that are relapsed, and see which kind of markers or genetic lesions um, have, a, have an impact on the relapse rate in these patients. And because relapse are not that common in, in this disease. Most of the patients are cured with primary immunochemotherapy. And of course, we want to reduce toxicity in these patients and want to see, well, maybe our job for this one is enough. Maybe the other one needs a little bit more dose intensified regimens. But we also ultimately want to totally avoid, if possible, these relapse cases because they do very, very poorly. And um, this question I cannot answer how to prevent these relapse cases um, with the study we, we just made. We have to answer this in future studies in, when we sequence relapsed and, and refractory, especially refractory patients.